Today's daily dose of math is how to find the equation of a step function, otherwise known as a greatest integer function, from a graph. Here in our graph, we can see that we have steps that are four units in length, that are jumping up by three units in height, that are closed circle on the right and open circle on the left, and the steps are going upstairs. Or another way of saying that is the slope of an imaginary line that connects all the closed circles would be a positive slope. By looking at these clues, we're able to figure out the parameters of our step function equation, a, b, h, and k. The first thing that I'm going to look at is this closed circle right here. I choose the closed circle that is closest to the y-axis, and I know that the coordinates of that point can be my h and k. That point in this case is 1, negative 1. So h equals 1, k equals negative 1. We're halfway there. We have four parameters and we found two of them. The next thing I want to look at is the sine of b. I will be able to figure out the sine of parameter b when I look at whether these steps have a closed circle on the right or on the left. These steps have the closed circle on the right, and that means B has to be negative. But I'm not finished with B, because the length of the steps helps me find the size of B. We have to know that the absolute value of B is equal to 1 over the length of the steps. We already know that our b has to be negative this time, and we see that the length is 4. So therefore, b equals negative 1 quarter. Now we look at the size of a. The absolute value of a gives us the height of our steps. That means that a is equal to plus or minus 3, because our steps are 3 units in height. So is it positive 3 or is it negative 3? This is the last thing I have to answer before I can write out my equation. One more fact we need to know. AB gives us the slope of that imaginary line that connects all of the closed circles. We have to have a positive slope because we can see in this graph that that imaginary line would have a positive slope. Therefore, AB has to give a positive answer. A times B has to give a positive answer. Since B is negative a quarter, A has to also be negative. Therefore, A is less than zero. This time, A is equal to negative three. I have everything I need to write out the equation of my step function. f of x is equal to negative 3, we open our square bracket, b is negative 1 quarter, x minus 1, close the square bracket, minus 1 because k is equal to negative 1. I have found the equation of my step function by looking at the graph and figuring out one by one what each of the parameters have to be by knowing a few simple rules about step function parameters. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.